To take a Buy Here, Pay Here payment, select the Take Payment button. In the Buy Here, Pay Here payment window, start by entering in the effective date, payment type, and method. The system will automatically display the total due for this payment, including late fees or any other fees. If your customer is giving you the total amount due, just click the pencil icon and the full amount is copied to the total paid box. And you can, of course, enter a different amount. Notice that for the total paid amount you enter, the system has adjusted how the funds are applied. When fees or late fees are due, you are given the option how these are dealt with. By default, the system assumes the fee will be collected as part of this total payment. They are included in the total due and total paid amount. However, you can instead defer the fee, which sends it to the next payment, meaning none would be due today, waive the fee, which gets rid of it entirely, or do a partial defer or partial waive. Finally, you can defer to end, which means these late fees are due at the very end of the loan. In this example, we choose a partial waive. Now the fees paid box can be edited. We are allowing the customer to pay just $10 out of the $25 non-sufficient fund fee and waiving the rest. Notice that when we change the fee to $10, the total paid amount is recalculated when we click the pencil icon. The $15 waived from the fee is taken off the total paid amount. Next, we can add a note and then click Save. Notice the system warns us when we aren't collecting the total amount due. Finally, you can print a receipt for this payment by selecting the receipt link.